Earlier in our program, you heard from Avery Davidson about what a banner year agriculture had here in the state in 2012. That impact extends to you at home. And to tell us how it does so is the subject of this week's Bottom Line with Neil Malonson. The Bottom Line is brought to you by the Cotton Board, strengthening the fiber of our industry. First South Farm Credit, financing rural America since 1933. And by Progressive Tractor and Implement, your Case IH and Kubota dealer. As you heard from Avery's story earlier, Dr. John Westra delivered the good news about Louisiana's farm income. It's not just good news for farmers, though. It's good news for all of us. You see, farm income is nothing if not volatile, and oftentimes farmers go many years without seeing a significant profit. In years like 2012, this gives farmers a chance to not only make up for lost ground, but to pump that money back into our local economies through tractor and combine purchases, materials for grain bins, and some new trucks and ATVs strictly for farm purposes. Of course, the point is a healthy farm economy is key to a healthy rural economy and at a time when we're still suffering from budget shortfalls here in the state, it's good for all of us. Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry, Dr. Mike Strain, put it this way. You're seeing a tremendous resurgence in the economy, the rural areas. Look at the new tractor dealerships, new at all the industries moving in. Look at all the new equipment being bought. Look at all of the, the different grain bins being built. Look at the money being spent in rural Louisiana. Look at the value of land. A lot of discussion. The discussion this morning in Delta Farm Press talking about that land prices are stabilizing, but they're not going down. The bottom line is when you see that new combine or farm truck, don't think that happens every year or even every other year. Think about the jobs it takes to supply all those things to our farmers in need. And more importantly, think about the efficiency it's going to create on those farms, which will translate into keeping prices at your grocery store the most affordable in the world. And Mike, it's good news that's been a long time coming as I don't think we've had a year like that since 2008. That is right, Neil, and I can tell you when you see those purchases of new trucks and new combines, a lot of us have to remember that the farm dollar turns over seven times in the local economy. Neil Malonson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's daily radio reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Agri-News Radio Network for a list of stations where you can tune in or listen online. Click over to our website, twilighttv.org, and click on the LF Barn link.